出国那个什么中午早餐是吗？哈个跟大个李军个李哈个是巴来中个多巴生来，个用多巴头安个进来。U nong mik mat ka maulai constituency u ba proses di sauk mi u labu jeng keli u menteri rang ba ka jela u konrad ke sangma halor ka jeng bom pat la bat ka jeng slem ban thong kam thong jam hapo ka migalia public service commission ki badan haduk kumba si hajar lai spa i wei teli ki kam ki balan knang ba ki nong tep ya ki te ki kam kin yo jeng tep ha ka baya dai bat ka ni ka kam ha ka por ka babeng Haba jubab ya kene ka jengkeli na kaliang umentri rang ba ka jela u konrad ke sangma u la ai dau ba ka jing slem ban thong kam thong jam hapo ka te ka commission ka dei na ka dau ka jeng penthot jong ka khlam ko bet khat khandai ban penlong ya ke examen bad ba ka yeng ka shari kala rai ban penre kam da ka roster system bad na kaliang ki wei ki wei ki tanap thong kam ru labatha ya ki ba ken penre kam da ka roster system ha ka thong kam thong jam ha ki ja ka balat thali Hagate ka kanta kali jingkali layo i ba u ba HM Shangpliang u ba dei unong mi khmat ka mausin ram constituency u la pan pau ru ya ka ne ka jo ka phang halor ka jing bom la ban pan long ka commission ya ka examen ha ka por ka balabu So reply to star question number 33 A So the following are the processes for calling an interview Number 1 the issue of advertisement Number 2 scrutiny of applications for accepting the application number 3 screening test written test number 4 viva voce slash personal interview number 5 selection slash recommendation of eligible candidates and each of these processes takes its own time depending on the number of posts and applications b so there is no such there's no criteria from the mpsc the criteria given by the requiring department is followed by the commission <clears throat> for the interview c yes sir and d so the total number of vacant post is 1301 so mr speaker sir <coughs> yes my process <coughs> so may i know from the honorable uh, chief minister reply to ea first So since uh, there is a complaint of a uh, delay for the calling of a tribute by MPSC, uh, may I know from Honourable Chief Minister if he can rectify? Do all the points which have already mentioned five points is very important, but if uh, the Honourable Chief Minister can rectify how the process will go a little bit shorter, so that uh, uh, the applicant will be expect to get uh, the job at the end, sir. Yes, sir. Um, the a uh, point that has been mentioned by the honorable member is uh, definitely of great concern to the citizens and especially to the youth of our state uh, and as mentioned sir because of uh, different issues and the times taken that uh, are there uh, the delay takes place sir uh, but uh, there are different uh, as i said uh, in c sir that there are different proposals uh, from the commission as well as from the government to have revamp Uh, you know to revamp i'm sorry to revamp the uh, mpsc and to improve uh, issues like uh, improvement of the overall uh, use of technology and uh, even uh, a proposal to conduct common tests common examinations for all posts which have the same qualification and the same pay scale in order to avoid multiple examinations is also being examined sir at the same time having more examination centers throughout the state is also being examined and uh, there's also a uh, um, uh, you know an advice to the government uh, by the commission also to have clubbing of uh, posts uh, by bringing a meghalaya combined competitive exam rules so these are different uh, areas where uh, these reforms are being examined Uh, we have not taken a final call because this requires a lot of uh, threadbare discussion and uh, uh, and also obviously concerns from all over so all those areas are there sir but uh, point is noted and uh, this is an important issue and uh, i can assure the member that we are working uh, on ensuring that this time frame that is there uh, to ensure that the examinations and interviews are conducted uh, in a much more shorter time sir So may I know from Honourable uh, Chief Minister, what the calling of a tribute, whether the MPSC needs the approval 
from a state government to go ahead about the MPU, sir? So the, uh, the MPSC is uh, uh, an autonomous body and um, it uh, calls the necessary interviews uh, at its own level, sir. Sir, <coughs> so I reply to D. So I know from Honorable uh, Chief Minister, according to reply here, it was uh, mentioned that uh, uh, the vacant post is uh, 1,301. When we expect uh, this uh, post of vacants, uh, we, we fill up, sir? So the process is on to fill up these posts. So last question, sir. So may I know, may I know the, uh, or the strength of uh, MPSC, sir? I, I'm sorry, sir, I didn't get the question. Uh, I didn't repeat the question. Strength in what sense, if you can? Strength, strength. In may terms I, of human resource? May I, the, the strength of the MPSC. The human resource, you mean. Sir, that information uh, is not with me right now regarding the details of the human resource, but I could always provide it to the honorable member separately, sir. Sir. <coughs> yes, by him, office. <coughs> sir, <coughs> recently, there has been a lot of uh, resentment from a lot of candidates for not uh, having the examinations on time by the MPSC. And uh, to name a few, the enforcement inspector posts that uh, have been advertised for quite some time, uh, nothing has happened till date, sir. So may I know from the Honorable Chief Minister uh, when this particular exam is going to be held and along with the others, of course, I'm equally concerned with the 1,300 posts that are vacant and in particular, the enforcement inspector's post uh, to be filled, sir. Sir, uh, uh, just for the information of the House, uh, in the last two to three years, uh, we had uh, certain challenges and MPSC, of course, also had those challenges. Number one being the COVID uh, pandemic in itself and that had really uh, taken things uh, you know off track in one way for the MPSC and conducting of exams and interviews became a big challenge for the MPSC at that point in time and hence uh, we saw that uh, in the last two to three years especially during the COVID time we saw uh, the vacancies could not be filled because as I said of the COVID reasons Second, sir, also because of the fact that um, recently there was a court ruling on implementation of the roster system. And hence, uh, every department has been asked to uh, comply with the roster system. And when they do, they can go ahead with all the concerned um, recruitment processes and um, inform the respective uh, recruitment agency, uh, in this case the MPSC, to go ahead. And uh, I will not have the exact information regarding the enforcement uh, because there are, of course, few of them that are going on right now. I have the names, but the enforcement is not there in that. So, um, sir, I've taken a note of what the Honorable Member has mentioned. And um, I presume, sir, I would not like to mislead the House that uh, there could be a delay because of the uh, roster not being implemented there yet. Uh, but I will find out, sir, and I will definitely inform the Honorable Member separately, sir. Thank you. So one last question, sir. Yes, from my end. Uh, sir, I remember that I had brought uh, uh, the issues relating to the functioning of the MPSC in the last session. And uh, would also like to place on record uh, that the government has uh, taken uh, effective steps uh, to revamp uh, the MPSC, uh, for which we have seen in the answer at C. Uh, may I know from the Honorable Chief Minister, is there any timeline given to the MPSC or to the government or to the personal department uh, to bring forth uh, the changes uh, in the MPSC and uh, uh, the, uh, the new changes that we expect in the MPSC? Uh, sir, as uh, mentioned by the Honourable Member, that the process has started and uh, our endeavour is to do it at the earliest. And uh, in fact, uh, just so that uh, uh, the members will realize and understand also how serious we are about this, uh, about this issue, is that even in the last two cabinet meetings we had, uh, the issue of, uh, in, sorry, last to last cabinet, I'm sorry, we had the discussion on uh, the common, uh, uh, conducting common examinations for posts uh, 
which have same qualifications and are in the same pay scale. And this may look like a very small thing, but what happens, it saves the time of calling multiple examinations uh, for the same similar posts that are there for which have a similar qualification and, and the same pay scale. Therefore, small steps like these, uh, but they require a lot of uh, due diligence to be done because the different processes of the different departments, the rules have to be followed. So all these aspects need to be examined uh, so that there is no contradiction in the future and nobody then goes to court and uh, comes out with some kind of a court case against the MPSC. So this due diligence is going on. We went through this process. We uh, debated it in the, uh, in the cabinet and then we sent it back uh, to the uh, department to examine this again and then bring it back after the reforms and the changes that we had proposed in that after the discussion. So my, my reply, sir, very simple, is that it is a process. Um, we cannot say that it will be done in a day or two or months because it has to be done well. But uh, we realize the uh, urgency of uh, making these reforms. And I can assure the House that we are going to move on it at the earliest we are moving. And uh, we are going to uh, come up with some of the reforms very shortly. And uh, it may take us some time to implement all of it. But the, the process is on. And the government is very much committed to bringing these reforms in the MPSC, sir. Since 2014, our country has been plagued by divisive forces. The MC is in Meghalaya with the mission to empower the people, uphold the ethnic cultures and traditions, celebrate the sacred land. To ask the proxy BJP government from Meghalaya, be the change, support TMC by calling on 96877 96877.